hello everybody today i'm gonna be making the cassava cake and this is a filipino recipe i got it from one of my friends and i'm gonna start with the ingredients over here i have three bags of grated cassava and this is the kind that i use you usually find it in the frozen areas in the stores if you use a fresh one it's uh, four cups of grated cassava right here i already greased two pans right here i have one can of coconut milk one can of evaporated milk one can of sweetener milk and one teaspoon of baking powder i got three eggs over here four cups of butter and a half a cup of sugar one tip of one fourth of teaspoon i have the, the dulce de leche right here and i have my caramel and i have one cup of grated coconut Aquí tengo cuatro tazas de, de yuca ya rallada. Tengo las, las dos cacerolas ya engrasadas. Aquí tengo un bote de, de leche de coco, un bote de leche evaporada y un bote de la azúcar azucarada de lechera. Una cucharadita de, de baking powder. Tengo tres huevos. Tengo cuatro cucharadas de mantequilla media taza de azúcar y es una pelizquita de, de one for the teaspoon aquí tengo yo dulce de leche y tengo el caramelo y tengo una taza de coco rallado so vamos a empezar we're gonna start now we're gonna start by mixing all the ingredients empezaremos a mezclar todos los ingredientes um, coconut milk la leche de coco Leche evaporada, evaporated milk, sweetener, oh. the sweetener, or oh, the sweetener milk right here. And we start mixing it. Now I'm going to put all the uh, the teaspoon of uh, baking powder, el royal, una cucharita, the three eggs, los tres huevitos, and the four, the four tablespoons of butter, las cuatro cucharadas de mantequilla, And we're gonna start mixing with the mixer, okay? Okay, I mix it with the mixer, but at this point I'm gonna try it for sugar because I put the whole can of um, sweetener. I'm gonna put a little more of the sugar, maybe half. Okay, so let me try again a little more. Mm. I'm gonna put the whole thing. So half a cup of sugar, okay? But you try it and see how sweet do you want it. So I'm just gonna mix the sugar and then we're gonna start putting it in the pan so we can put it in the oven. The oven is going to be on 350 and then it's going to be cooking probably like um, for 40 to an hour of uh, time. Okay, so, okay, now that we mix all the, uh, the ingredients, uh, I'm going to be putting the salt right here. And then we're going to put it in the pan, okay? I was forgetting the salt. So mix it very well. And now we're going to be putting it in the pan. Right there. Okay, like you see, I got two of these ones. So I'm going to put them in the oven now. 
Okay, I put it in the oven, so it's going to stay there like for 45 minutes to an hour. We'll see. So lo vamos a dejar en el horno por 45 minutos o a, o a una hora. Vamos a ver. So I'm going to start roasting our coconut over here in this pan. Just put the coconut here. And I have a small fire right here, like you see, probably in between and medium size. So I'm going to be cooking over here until the coconut is roasted. They look like a little gold or brown. Okay, <clears throat> the coconut is already roasted. Uh, always be moving back and forth or else it gets burned. Siempre hay que estarlo moviendo o, o se quema el coco, ya está rostizado. Ya se mira cafecito, so we're just going to leave it like this now. And this is going to be for the topping. As you can see, after 45 minutes, or we're going to give it probably like an hour. So a little longer. Después de 45 minutos, so le vamos a dar por ahí la hora, okay? in 10 minutes it's already done like you can see so we're gonna put it over here on top of the stove probably for a little five minutes and then we're gonna be putting the top and then we'll put it back in the oven for like for another 10 minutes okay as you can see when it's already done you can even see it on the side. You see how it is? Cuando ya está la cazaba, se despega un poquito de aquí. And you see the, the golden brown on top. Y ven como se ve cafecita de encima. So esperamos unos 5 o 3 minutitos que se enfríe un poquito y luego le ponemos el tapping y de regreso al horno, ¿ok? Okay, so we're going to start with the caramel. And I'm going to put all the caramel over here and spread it everywhere in the cassava. And then we put the coconut on top. So you just spread it all the way around the layer. Like this. It's a thin layer, it's right there. And now we put the coconut on top, like this. And we're gonna do the same thing with the dulce de leche. We're, we're making one of caramel and one of dulce de leche. So this is a dulce de leche. So I put it over here and I, sp I spread it over here in a thin layer because the cassava is already sweet. If you just put the conden con condensed milk, you don't have to put, you know, a lot of sugar. Or if you want it sweeter, you can combine sugar and and the sweetened milk. So here you go. As you can see there is the caramel. And it tastes real good. And now I'm gonna put the coconut. And then we put it in the oven for another 10 minutes. And then it's done, okay? Here. Okay, so I put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. So ya la puse de regreso al horno por otros 10 minutitos y le puse todo el coco, el caramelo y el dulce de leche también encima. 